Shares of MongoDB moving higher this morning. The cloud database firm beat quarterly expectations, reporting both a 40% year-over-year increase in subscription revenue and 20% year-over-year increase in services revenue. For more, let's bring in MongoDB CEO Dev Idicharya. Welcome. It's nice to see you this morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm just looking at a note from the street that says your results were quote-unquote generally good. How would you characterize them? Uh, I'd characterize them as exceptional. Uh, <laughs> we delivered 40% year-over-year growth. Um, we delivered 19% operating margins. We showed great new business activity, both from existing customers and new customers. Uh, and we're very pleased about how the company's positioned uh, for the future. They say the, the upside was mostly driven by your non-Atlas business, with, which they're not sure would last. Um, and that's your, your SaaS business, correct? Uh, correct. So just to explain to your viewers, so we have a cloud service that's been a big part of the growth engine over the last six years that we've been public. But our strategy is to enable customers to run MongoDB anywhere. They can run MongoDB in the cloud. They can run MongoDB in their own data center. They can even run MongoDB at the edge. And so we give customers tremendous flexibility in terms of how they want to deploy MongoDB. And what you're seeing is that run anywhere strategy really working. We still have lots of customers who have lots of infrastructure in their own data centers, lots of needs inside, uh, inside their own organizations. And so they're deploying MongoDB, not in the cloud, but in their own data centers. And we're happy for that to happen. What, what percentage of your 40% your revenue growth came from AI related business? Yeah, we haven't disclosed that, but we, uh, we basically have huge demand for customers um, using MongoDB for AI applications. Last quarter, we disclosed that we had over 1,500 and that number's only gone up. Um, and the reason people really value MongoDB is that um, MongoDB essentially enables AI to come real. Developers can use AI tools, embed them into their applications, leveraging MongoDB, and they can build smarter and more intelligent applications that truly transform a customer's business. So we have lots of startups and lots of large enterprises who are now using MongoDB to build AI applications. So we believe that we're well positioned for the future. I do want to say that there's a tendency for people to overestimate the impact of a new technology in the short term, mm -hmm. but underestimate in the long term. And we believe that we're really well positioned for this new AI wave. Well, it's, I'm glad you said that because if, if you don't disclose the, the breakout of, of the revenue growth, how are investors supposed to accurately and adequately sort of differentiate between what hype is versus what reality is? Well, you're right. There is a lot of hype in the AI space today, but I think you can just look at our performance. Um, if you look at Atlas, I would argue Atlas is the fastest growing cloud service in the market today. Uh, that speaks volumes. If you look at the number of customers we have, we have over 45,000 customers of all shapes and sizes, from the largest companies in the world to cutting edge startups using MongoDB. And our business is not just local, it's not just North America, it's Europe, it's Latin America and Asia. So our business in the emerging markets is really strong. So we, we are a global phenomenon. We also have great relationships with people like Alibaba in China who are really deploying MongoDB very aggressively and, 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 and other partners around the world, people like uh, large systems integrators and obviously the large hyperscalers who are working with us to acquire new AI startups. You know, there's a lot of talk, obviously, about where valuations are um, related to AI and, and the willingness of investors to pay higher valuations these days because of the tremendous growth opportunities that you're speaking about um, in, in AI. Do you think some of it's gotten a little bit out of hand? I mean, do, do you feel that there's any level of froth related to, to AI? How do you view your own valuation in this current environment? Well, um, we worry about revenue and earnings and we'll let the street decide what are the right valuation and growth and we'll let the street decide what the, are the right valuations for us. I will say in talking to my uh, VC friends that there is a sense that the early stage market is, is, is very uh, inflated. Uh, there's some worry that there's lots of these new AI startups who have not really built a deep moat. And so there's a lot of capital going in. There's a lot of belief that a lot of that capital goes from VCs to the companies to a place like NVIDIA. So it's unclear yet. I think it's the early days. And we saw this phenomenon. I'm old enough to see have seen this phenomenon with the internet era. We saw a little bit of that with the mobile and cloud era. So I think it's early days. And there is a risk that in the early days, there's maybe too much hype. 
So if the capital is going into early stages uh, to such a degree, Dev, it sounds like it would be a logical extrapolation to say that there is some overvaluing in the public market as well. Yeah, again, um, you know, if you look at uh, the tech market, obviously there was a correction last year. Um, stocks have generally come back. Uh, I don't think um, the valuations in general are obscene. Uh, we're very pleased that the support we get from our investors and more importantly from our customers. Um, but again, that's ultimately an investor's decision in terms of whether they think uh, the valuation is high or not.